accord. Ok, we're going to do a melody in the key of C major. So we put C in the middle. We're going to do our magic circle first. C, D, E, F, G, A and B. Now, to get chord one, we're going to do C to E to G. To get chord four, we count down four. One, two, three, four. So that's A, F, A, C. So that's chord four. Chord five, seven is one, two, three, four, five, G, B, D. And then we go back one from G to get our seven. And there we have our chords. Now, next thing we're going to do is we're going to draw in our scale. So remember every second line, space, line, space, line, space, line, space, line, space. And keep going up there until you reach high A. And put in all your letter names. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. And then on top, your Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do, and so on. Then we divide up our bar, our stave, into four bars. We put chord one, C, E, G, here. Chord four, F, A, C, here. Chord five, seven, G, B, D, F. And back to chord one, C, E, G. Then we put in our, because it's in four, four time, four beats in every bar, crotchet is one beat, so we put in four crotchet beats into each bar. Except for the last bar, we're going to do two crotchet beats and a minimum, a minimum is two beats. Now, the next part of the melody is we're going to do the bones of the melody. So we're going to start off with low C or high C. I think we'll go for high C. High C to E back to C, and maybe down to G. Then on to F, we go to the closest place. Remember steps in makes a good melody. So we go F, A, C, and we'll repeat the C. Actually, we have to put the, the stems down this way. And then we go G, B, D, so the closest is, we go to D, or B, sorry, down to G, back up to B, up to D and then remember we have to end on C so we'll put in our high C here at the minimum so we now have to use an E and a G so E and we can go down we can go to high G okay so that's the bones of our melody done now we're going to add in our passing notes we can add a passing note in between two notes that are third bar apart so passing note there we could put a passing note here we could put another Passing note here, and we could put a passing note here. So that's our passing notes done. Now we can put an auxiliary note. An auxiliary note is a note that happens between two notes that are repeated. So we have two notes that are repeated here. So we might go up there, and that's our auxiliary note. So auxiliary note, we take that. And now we're going to add our dot and our dash just to make it interesting. We put our dot and our dash up here. So dot onto the crotchet, lengthening it by half a beat, and then a dash onto the next crotchet, making it smaller by half a beat. So this is our tune. There you go. The last thing we do is we put in our phrase mark. I stopped it, it isn't there, of course. We have to stop it. I know, I'm sorry. It's over four minutes.